Welcome everyone to Weekend Escapades. Today we are here at the Hollywood Museum and Trading Post. Little Hollywood and we are in Kanab, Utah. And like the shirt says, where the heck is Kanab? Kanab is on Scenic Highway 89 and you are headed north from Fredonia and the Arizona border and it is going to put you right here in this location. This is the Kenny Loggins live from the Grand Canyon in 1991. This was the backdrop from that concert and it is fairly rustic. In this next building with the laundry line hanging outside with all the britches on there getting some air is from Sergeant's 3 and this gun port right here was used for the Rat Pack and Frank Sinatra. Now it says right up there in the sign, Cowboy Art. So I get this is where they put all the cowboy art together. If this is cowboy art, looks like a bunch of artifacts to me and an old time bed and also an old time bathtub. Now behind me, I'm not sure which it is because we have over here that it says it's a saloon, but right above the door over here, says it's a jail. You be the judge. I'm gonna go inside and take a look. In jail it is. Saloon on the outside, jail on the outside. But the bars and the old time prisoners say it is a jail. Gone to the saloon, we'll be back soon. I'm guessing the sheriff decided to take a break. Now this set here is best known for One Little Indian with James Gardner and Jody Foster. And it's all here put back together from its location, its original location here in Kanab where they shot the movie. A couple of the buildings and the facades that were here I couldn't find signs on to tell me what movies they were used in but I was told all of these were used at least as a backdrop in these movies and all of the items in these uh, buildings and around the buildings uh, it is said that uh, they were used as uh, extras and pieces in movies uh, to bring that original Old West look to those films. Now, I forgot to say the minute you walk through that gift shop uh, it doesn't even look like there'd be much back here but wow you walk out the door and everything back here is old sets all put back together, including old wagons and, uh, of course, some, some old saddles and things to look at. A lot of fun knowing that these were all used in those Old West movies. Now, y'all be sure to like and subscribe and stay to the end because we got something special to show you. This right here was used in the movie Outlaw Josie Wales. And this is the original building you can take a look around the inside here and also coming up is the stables that were used or the barn where they kept the horses and i'd have to say that this is one of my favorite parts because clint eastwood is one of my all-time favorite actors as i love old western movies now this next facade was used in the attic door the movie the attic door now i've never seen the movie but this is the facade that existed on that film set right here. Now this is the back of the house for Outlaw Josie Wales. And I didn't even think about it, but I went up to the building and, uh, and touched it and knocked on the wall. And this is all like fiberglass uh, set that has an overlay and painted. And same thing goes for this uh, stable or the barn. Uh, this is from the movie Outlaw Josie Wales, the original one uh, that was used in that movie. Now, I gotta say, it wouldn't be the Old West without a Boot Hill Cemetery, but this is the smallest Boot Hill Cemetery I have ever seen. Oh, yeah, an old Two Guns Ray? Well, he was slow that day. Now, this building here was used in the movie Desperate Hour from 1990 with Anthony Hopkins and Mickey Rourke. Now these buildings are older, they're just not as old as they look. They were made in the 50s and 60s to film these movies, but they were made to look like they were from the mid 1800s, and they certainly do. Yeah, 
You can see inside of some of these buildings that they have a couple of the things, the old typewriters and some old presses and things and on the window it says news along with my reflection in the window the shadow of me saying hello and there's also a couple of like kitchen items and old scales and cash registers that you'd find in an old store uh, this whole area over here this whole side of the museum right through there all these windows are full of things and, and antiques and all that that they used in the movies and also that are dated way back to the early days of the old west I wouldn't recommend riding on these saddles. Uh, take saddle sores to a new level as they look pretty old and worn out. There's also a lot of original movie posters here. And also I found this kind of interesting. There was a flyer here and a little sign that is a flyer, the calling card for Jackie Hamblin Rife. And this is her there. She was a stunt woman and movie double for these old western movies. Now, as we come to the end of this location here, I promise you I'd show you something amazing at the end. Built in 1894, this is the Heritage House in Kanab, Utah. And it is also a museum and they give tours for free. The tours were shut down, but at least I got to take a good look at the outside and share this with you. We're all done here in Kanab for the day. We hope you enjoyed our visit, and until our next adventure, goodbye from Weekend Escapades.